I absolutely love animations and it's probably one of the more fun parts of web development for me. But my God, there's so many animations out there that are just plain infuriating or a bad user experience. So we're going to talk about that. Uh, and I'm also going to give you at the end of this video uh, some libraries and some tips and tricks to kind of avoid all of these pitfalls. Can we all agree the bloody typewriter effect can, should be eradicated from the world? It never adds anything useful. It's always just a line of text that you have to sit and watch to say the most mundane stuff ever. I'm a dreamer. Fuck you. Uh, seriously, though, it's like you're main part here of the screen should be the thing that you want to sell, right? Whether that's your portfolio, whether that's your uh, whatever SaaS product, you want to make sure that it captures the user's attention, you have a call to action, and what you have here is essentially just hi I am if I pause right here, and then it just says your name or that you're crafting experiences or whatever, or designing with purpose. Okay, cool. Uh, so it just takes too much and I called it crafting experiences. They all have the same thing. Um, if you think that people are going to spend five minutes sitting here reading this, you're going to be plainly wrong. Uh, carousels that a lot of people also love to implement. You know how many people actually really go through that? It's a really, really small percentage. Uh, and the same thing applies here. Be gone typewriter effect. I will never ever miss you. Another thing that annoys me is things that just take too long to appear on the screen. If I refresh this, it takes like two seconds for these links to pop up. And when I scroll over, it's just such a slow fade. Uh, animations, I, I've seen this so, so many times that take way, way too long to, to come into view. I was actually looking at houses as well. Furion houses, I think it's called, properties. Uh, I was looking to buy a house, I'm growing up, you know, time to get off the streets. Uh, but guess how much, if I click on this, how long this will take? Half a second? That would be pretty all right. Okay, maybe they screwed it up. Maybe it takes a second. Maybe two seconds. And now we can use the page. Wow, what a great experience. And it's not like I can scroll or anything. Look, I click and I scroll. I guess I can scroll there. But then the page all changes. What is going on? That is crazy. Please, please, please never ever use animations that are longer than 750 milliseconds, all right? That's a good rule of thumb. Unless you have a really, really specific reason you'd want to have maybe a second or maybe a tad bit longer than that. But overall, stick to everything that's 750 ms or smaller than that. A lot of times I see either cards popping up or like, like this navigation here is nice, right? And the animations here are pretty nice. And if I scroll down, I like how that looks. But when you scroll back up, it's like, twice as fast as, as scrolling down. So make sure at least everything is quite consistent. Again, it's either just people picking random durations, I guess, for everything. Uh, it just makes everything look a bit weird. Another thing that you should be aware of is something I like to call anti-focus, is when there's just too much going on on the screen. It's like everything is fighting for your attention. Uh, like this example is perfect here. It's like you have four or five different videos animating at the same time and you don't know what the fuck to look at. Like on this website as well, if I scroll down here, you have the zooming animation on the image, which is all fine. But then you have this image here flickering through multiple different images. And I just can't help but look at this, like what is going to come next? It's just too much going on. It's anti-focus. You essentially want to kind of direct a user's focus into one specific place. And this is a good example done right here, right? You have the text here, but then you have movement here. So your attention goes here uh, rather than having 10 things moving at the same time. I would say this is almost overdone. Maybe it's just hitting the fine line here of, uh, of just having too much zooming in here, uh, which can be quite distracting. 
can we tone everything down a bit? I know people get so excited and carried away with animation. And don't get me wrong, I used to do this all the time, especially when I got into web development. I'd have things sliding from 10 kilometers away all the way onto the page or fade in and do some big expansion. But it just ends up looking quite amateurish. This is okay. Like, this is fine. I, I can maybe reduce the zooming a little bit. Uh, but always go from zero to up a bit or just whatever you think looks good, half that animation. I'd argue that this animation here is really well done, but it gets all ruined by one simple thing. Can you guess what that thing is? I'm scrolling as fast as I can on my wheel and this is the speed that it's going. It's bloody scroll jagging. I hate it. I absolutely hate that there's no way for me to get to the bottom of the page without... We're not there yet. I just want to get to the bloody address, okay? That's all I wanted and it's just impossible. So even though I think this website's amazing and the animations are actually done really well, it just the whole experience absolutely gets ruined by this bloody scroll jagging and you're gonna get this with like this website but you also have that same experience with websites where you scroll and it's just like the whole page comes up and it's like different slides i was just looking through a bunch of like different random websites i found online and portfolios my god the amount of ai websites is insane now these days i can just like instantly i can tell this is ai this one this one's AI as well. Wow. Another thing that I keep seeing a lot is these auto animated slides, basically, whether that's a carousel that shows images or like a testimonial. In this case, this guy's showing off his projects. The problem is I always feel like I have to go like this to keep up with it. And this would be fine if I would just be able to like hover over it and it would stop, but it just never stops. It keeps going. And it's not even clickable in the first place. That's a bit infuriating. I'm not going to lie. I have something similar. I'm not going to lie. Uh, this is the course platform that I'm building out right now. Hope you like that animation. A little Tetris effect. Are we going to wait for the block to finish? Come on, do it. There we go. Come on. Boof. There we go. So we here we have something similar. Uh, let me zoom in a little bit so you can see. As you can see, and that's a bit fast too. I might actually slow that down, but at least you can, if I hover over it, at least you can stop and, and actually read it. Uh, so that's fine. I don't mind that, but I wouldn't necessarily ever have something that just keeps going, unless it's something like, you have something like this and it's showing up maybe brands that use your product or whatever, and it's just like Nike and blah, 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 and it just goes really fast. It's fine. I don't mind it. But when you have like projects or whatever, you should be able to stop and have a read through it. Even websites on awards are guilty of some animation problems. And we can both agree that some of these websites that are on here are crafted really, really well, and they're really impressive and often show off real fancy animations but my god these all of these are just allergic to simply getting you to the website it's they always have a loading screen look at that it just it takes a couple of seconds this one as well if i load there's a big loading screen this took like 10 seconds the first time i loaded it up and then you can go to the website okay we're here what's going on here i have no idea okay there we are well, guess what? You can only scroll once and it flips the whole page. I'd argue, I'd argue that might be a bit too fast. Look, this one's quite okay, actually. You refresh, right? You just get that little slide down and you get the reveal. It takes half a second, maybe, and you're at the page. And this is fine. Look at that. Super simple. You, it, it can be subtle. It doesn't need to be a big hoo-ha. But yeah, one thing I'd say is just tone down the animations and I promise you, I promise you, it will look much, much better. Because my gosh, I'm going to have a stroke. Did you see this text anime here? A lot of these big movements just end up making things look a bit wackier than they should. But that's okay. Animations are really, really difficult to get uh, correctly and I often struggle with them myself. And that's why if you're like new to animations, I often just would avoid you creating your own custom keyframes uh, or creating your own JavaScript animations and often just go with predefined solutions. So if you're a Tailwind user, for example, I'd recommend actually this little plugin here, the CSS animations one uh, that you can add 
And this one has predefined simple ones like fade in and you have like a little slide in and slide out, but they look really great. Uh, so you don't have to worry about it. And oftentimes it's better to just sprinkle in these animations rather than having the whole page animate. Um, if you want a like predefined solution, something like Magic UI is absolutely fantastic. Uh, it's already created for you, so it's like chat CN, and they, they look great, right? You have this little uh, social proof here, uh, but they have components pretty much on, on and everything that you can think of. Uh, so no shame into using a, a finished solution like this, but if you do want to make your own custom ones, yeah, I basically have two really big ones like GSAP. Now I love GSAP, but ever since you know I've been using a, a, a lot of React, um, I, I'm not really big of a fan of their integration. Uh, it's quite imperative style. You have to use their own like use GSAP hook, which is kind of like a use effect, and then you still need to add like class names to like whatever you want to grab and animate. And it's just like, uh, it's not too fun. Uh, so if I had to recommend one, it'd probably be Motion, which was called Frame or Motion beforehand. And you have pretty much everything you need here from uh, basic animations to animate presence. So if you want cards to uh, come in the DOM and come out of the DOM, you can do that. You can animate that. You have draggables and everything else and scroll as well. So it's a really nice API to work with. And there's a ton of examples that you can kind of replicate and copy. So. That's it. There's a lot of things that are annoying about animations on the internet. Uh, leave your most annoying one down in the comments below and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.